We took a whole lot of doing, but we did it. Yes, we did, girl. Took a whole lot of doing, but we did it. Yes, we did, baby. Shout out to uh, R&B great legend, the late great Mr. Seal Johnson. Yes, the father of uh, R&B singer Selena Johnson. They had Mr. Sylvester Johnson and Selena Johnson, and also the father of uh, Chad Johnson. So I want to give a shout out to him this morning. Uh, and for his contribution to the R&B side of the game, which is a forgotten, and the funk side of the game, it's just a forgotten uh, part of the music business. But that's neither here nor there. All right. This video ain't going to be long, okay? It ain't going to be long at all. And um, I want to give another shout out to my man, who's a fool. Um, I don't know whether he's always on some side of the controversy. Um, and that is my uh, young son, Boosie. All right. Uh, Boosie and I go back. He comes to Milwaukee quite frequently and he's friends with my boy Homer and I always give uh, he always makes sure he gives um, Homer uh, a shout out whenever he's in Milwaukee so this is what this uh, actually topic is about and everybody giving him flack and because he does so many things that's crazy that he should deserve flack for because Boosie you're out there sometimes you just you just too much. And you already know. Uh, Milwaukee loves you. So you got a lot of folk here. But anyway, make a long story short about Bootsy. He made a, a statement the other day and people were totally up in arms and totally disagreed with him and thought that he was drinking the uh, lean again or whatever. <laughs> and I'm here to tell y'all, y'all need to think about what you're saying. You need to think about the consequences of your actions. You better think about what you're saying because don't write off what Boosie said. Don't write off what Boosie said. Now let that sizzle in your spirit. For okay. All right. Now Boosie said something the other day that got himself in some more trouble because he always saying crazy and ignorant stuff. So and everybody got a, a Boosie in their family. I know I do. I got several of them. You know, and I love them to death still, but they retarded. But with that being said, um, let me put myself, I'm putting myself uh, exactly where Boosie is. And I have to say, um, I agree with him. <laughs> y'all probably going to be, and y'all already know. The two people that influenced my music career the most coming up was Michael Jackson, who was in the Midwest with me, and uh, oh God, what was her first name? Sister Mann, who was uh, from Detroit, and she sang at um, she sang at Mount Zion Assembly, which I told you all was the light skinned church. She was in one of those groups, famous groups from in Detroit, and she married some preacher. And by the time she had been, she was like the Elizabeth Taylor, I guess, of show of uh, the churches because she had been married a lot of times. And by the time I was, I mean, I was a kid and I think she was like on her fifth or sixth husband. By that time, I don't know. I don't want to say, it, but she's a man now. God bless the dead. And she was a very heavy influence on my life, my singing uh, career. And so was Michael Jackson. I'll never forget my first um, my first exposure to Michael was at Roosevelt High School and my father went to Roosevelt and um, watching them behind the ropes you know visiting my relatives in Gary 
Jackson Street being right over from Grant Street, Taft, all those streets. I know Gary like the back of my hand. So but my point being, y'all know I love me some Michael. Break the dawn. I won't stop the love be. Break the dawn. Oh, I love Michael. Okay, so there's in my mind and in my heart, there's no greater performer, no greater entertainer. Okay, than Michael Jackson and Sammy Davis Jr. Okay, then if you want to put two two women up there in terms of entertainment, I would have to say, uh, um, you know, Tina Turner and Beyonce, right? Okay. In terms of just entertaining your ass, dancing and doing, now we're not talking about just straight up standing and giving you some voice like Whitney. I ain't talking about that type of stuff now. Now, what Boosie said to y'all, y'all just dismissing him, but y'all forget that Robert and well, oh, oh, by the way, on the Midwest Circuit where I live, I'm 90 miles uh, from or uh, 30 minutes, 45 minutes out of Chicago, Milwaukee. We all on the same circuit, okay, Midwest. R. Kelly got beat out every time by a male performer from Milwaukee named Ducci Rogers. And Ducci dead now. Again, God bless the dead. And Robert can verify what I'm saying. I hope y'all get this video to R. Kelly. I hope he sees this video. Okay, because I'm telling you, y'all just forgot what y'all, y'all don't understand what that genius comes crazy. He comes a lot of, you know, and I don't mean to be disrespectful, but it's just straight real. The two sides of, uh, but how dare you act like he, a boosy tripping. Every time you think about Robert Kelly, you better think about a song. Okay. Now, uh, R. Kelly wrote songs for Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson ain't never wrote no song for no damn R. Kelly, right? R. Kelly is a song machine. So if you want to talk about it, sure, he done wrote for Celine Dion. He done wrote for Whitney Houston. How can you say that Michael has done that? Michael ain't wrote for nobody, but really pretty much himself. And I think he did, uh, if you want me to say And I don't even know if he wrote that. I think that, <clears throat> excuse me, they were just on his label. Who was that? SWV. Okay. He did. I want my soul all over his body. Y'all remember? Okay. Diana Ross. Y'all excuse me this morning. But listen. Y'all, y'all, you woke me up with this conversation. I want y'all to really think about what you're saying when you think about you can't go to no barbecue and think it's going to be set off without hearing Robert Kelly. R. Kelly, uh, step in the name of love. And not just that, you, oh my God, you made me love you. Because when you hear that, that Chocolate Factory, is that the album or T, uh, P3, one of them, <clears throat> I didn't even know that was R. Kelly when I heard it. You made me love you, babe. Made me love you, babe. Made me love you, babe. I, oh, come on, y'all. Power R. Kelly is a genius. Okay, he's crazy. He got so much shit in his head that if you take the files out and just lay them out, they will go forever. You see him trapped in a closet? He's a, he's a freaking... He's an enigma. He's a freaking genius. Y'all don't really understand. And he's a weirdo. And I'm not going to take that away from him. Uh, because I say that R. Kelly stuck the age that he, you know goes after girls for and that's his sickness you know my thing is i'm not sitting up here talking about none of that okay because anybody that mess with children gonna have to pay the price whereas michael jackson whether you believe that story or whether you don't believe that story that's not the issue the issue is 
who Michael Jackson is a much better entertainer. Okay? And who would I rather be entertained by? Michael. Um, because I'm fascinated. And I'm from when we play Tang Green School, you wanted to be it. Okay, come on. I'm I'm there. But he they didn't write that. The the corporation wrote that. Stop the love and say maybe your own. Darling, take it slow. Oh, or my song. I don't know how many stars there are. Oh. Up in the heavenly sky. Y'all remember that? I only know my heaven is here on earth. Each time you look into my eyes. Oh, jeez, come on now. But they didn't write those songs. Everything that come up out of Aura, everything that come up out that man. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. Y'all better reevaluate that and just think about it and don't just be on emotion. Stevie Wonder is who I put with Robert Kelly. They, the music is, they are the music. Okay? Um, Stevie Wonder, luckily from him, for him, he comes from an era, era in show business where they protected us. They, they protected people. Because I know some stories about Stevie. Okay? Um, I was on a Black Expo show with Stevie way back 30 years ago as a kid. So, I know from, I just know that genius is what it is. And there can be some weird shit going on with it. But I just don't want y'all to knock out this conversation with you got to be crazy talking about they don't belong in the same hemisphere. You must realize that nobody write no songs for R. Kelly. That he can believe he can fly. I think about it every night and day. I spread my wings. What was a bigger song? I believe I can soar. Come on, y'all. You were singing that in church? Really? Y'all better go back and look at that man catalog. That's all I'm saying. Now, I'll get back to my regularly scheduled program. But, don't just knock out what Boosie said. Um, and uh, I agree. He belongs right up in there in the sphere with Stevie Wonder. Yeah. Up. Oh, yep. And as ironically, as a kid, that's who his mama gave him to listen to. She gave him songs in the key of life and it changed his whole understanding. And he became not the world's greatest entertainer, He's a writer for the ages. And he's the generation. Uh, I'm, I'm only a few years older than Robert Kelly. Okay. Stevie Wonder is like nine years older than me. Okay. But at the end of the day, I put them both in the same. Uh, they're different generations. But I'd, I'll put R. Kelly's catalog against anybody's. Because he is the man. He the man. You ain't got to like his weird ass. Because I don't like it either what has happened. But there's some other uh, uh, politics that go along with that shit too. But at the end of the day, there's a whole bunch of R. Kelly's out here. A whole bunch of them. He just, you know. And a whole lot of people that set their kids up in that situation. Black and white. Right? All right. So that's what happens when you're dealing with greatness, when you're dealing with genius, when you're dealing with that. You get all kinds of perks. And good perks and bad perks. So with that being said, I'm going to go. And if you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share. Because of power, love you see. 
Ah, 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 ah,